and thanks. I am so happy to start working with the students here at Trinity. I'm just shaking with excitement. Uh, today we have students from United Township High School here and we are actually <laughs> providing them with an opportunity to explore nursing and other health care professions. Uh, we actually have two high fidelity simulation mannequins and our newest acquisition is called Simman 3G. So, but if someone, we can simulate someone having a stroke, oh. so one people can be dilated, the eye can be closed. <laughs> He's a Bluetooth mannequin who actually can um, enact real life scenarios. He can have a seizure, he can cry, um, his pupils can dilate or constrict based on a student response or intervention. Um, he has wounds that actually bleed, um, actual fluid that is um, designed to simulate blood. So it gives students the opportunity to work in the lab um, and practice skills that they will be then carrying over into the healthcare environment. It really is, it creates an interesting dynamic between the nursing faculty member and the student. Um, it allows them to interact at a level where the, the um, faculty is actually able to intervene um, and help students with the thinking process. What is the best intervention? Why did you um, implement that intervention? And what is the outcome you would like to achieve? So um, the whole outcome that we like to see is students who are better prepared to hit the ground running when they graduate from our programs and um, have a much higher level of skill base. I want to be a nurse when I get older. My grandpa at the um, Moline campus, started medical arts, so I just want to like follow in his footsteps. So I just thought like coming to this field trip would be neat. It's awesome. It bleeds. It can pee. It can sweat. Um, you can like check its blood pressure. And you're just like doing it as if it was like a real person. But it's, you can't really hurt it because it's not real, you know. Thank you. I feel much better yeah. now. <laughs>